Hey guys, welcome to this Hurricane documentary on uh, Hurricane Milton. And today, well, Milton was a very powerful Cat 5 hurricane with winds of 180 miles an hour with a pressure of 897 millibars. So far, the damages have came out and they are indicating between 80 billion to 100 billion dollars. If you... You literally see it right here. Um, the, the, I'm not capping. I'm not, I'm, I'm not. I'm literally. I am not. I am not clickbaiting. This hundred to eight to eighty to a hundred billion dollars, right here, is that is crazy. Honestly, I think that this could. I think that this could immediately go past Ian, and immediately go past um, Katrina. I think this could be the costliest. Pretty much the costliest Atlantic hurricane season ever. Well, not ever. You know, the costliest Atlantic hurricane storm ever in the world. Just rivaling uh, Katrina. I think it. Well, I don't think it will get past Katrina. Of course, maybe. But you know, I think this could easily, easily go past. Um, Hurricane Ian from last year, no, from yeah, from twenty twenty two, but bro, I'm telling you now, Milton. It says here, it says here, Hurricane Milton was an extremely powerful and destructive Atlantic hurricane, which became the second most intense tropical cyclone ever recorded over the Gulf of Mexico, behind only Hurricane Rita in two thousand five. Milton made landfall on the west coast of Florida less than two weeks after Hurricane Helene devastated the state's Big Bend region. The 13th named storm, the 9th hurricane, 4th major hurricane, and the 2nd Cat 5 of the 2024 Atlantic hurricane season. Milton was the strongest tropical cyclone worldwide in 2024 so far. Milton was the strongest hurricane to make landfall in Tampa Bay area since 1921. 1921. And has caused 110 billion US dollars so far. I think this could easily get to 125, maybe even 130. This could ease. This has already gone past. This has already gone past Harvey. This could go past Ian, and I wouldn't be surprised if this can go past um, Katrina as well. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to be a scaremonger. I'm not trying to be clickbait here. I honestly, that is in my own personal opinion. You could see. Just look how small it, Milton's eye was, man. Just look how small its eye was. It was a buzz sort of a hurricane of very high cloud tops. Sea surface temperatures of up to 90 degrees Fahrenheit, maybe even more. If that, this is in an area of really ripe conditions. Just this storm's exploded, and it's October, man. It's October. We haven't had usually you get cat fives in. The Caribbean in October, or in the MDR, or in the Gulf in August, September. But you don't, you usually, you have, you can see them in October, but not this strong in October. The last storm to get this strong in October was, uh, you know, um, was Wilma. 185 miles an hour. Honestly, I think they could upgrade this in post analysis. This storm is definitely getting 100% retired. This 100% this storm is getting retired. There's no joke. This storm is getting retired like that. Easily. Easy, this storm is going to get retired for sure. Um, but yeah, Moulton, Moulton, was at, Moulton started off in the... Um, yeah, Milton formed from a long track tropical disturbance that originated in the Western Caribbean Sea and consolidated in the Bay of Campeche on October 5th. Gradually intensi gradual intensification occurred as it slowly moved eastward and became a hurricane early on October 7th. Later that day, Milton underwent explosive intensification and became a Cat 5 hurricane with winds of 180 miles an hour and 280 kilometers an hour at peak intensity. It had a pressure of 897 millibars, making it the fifth most intense Atlantic hurricane on record.
Molten fluctuated in, in intensity after an eye war replacement cycle, re-intensified to a Cat 5 Hurricane the following day, increased wind shear caused the Hurricane to weaken as it turned northeastward towards landfall near Cedar Key late on October 9th. Afterwards, Molten rapidly weakened as it moved across the state into the Atlantic Ocean and became an extratropical on October 10th as it became a, Im, embedded in with a frontal zone ahead of the hur, ahead of the hurricane florida declared a state of emergency in in many coastal re, uh, residents were ordered to evacuate preparations were also undertaken in mexico's yucatan peninsula the hurricane caused a tornado outbreak and widespread flooding in Florida as of October 11th, 2024. Hurricane Milton has killed at least 20 people in 20 people, 18 in the United States and two in Mexico. Prim primarily, the damage estimates are estimated to be at least 30 billion. This was only the other day. If you saw, if I show you, look. 110 billion US dollars. That is a lot of money. That is a heck of a lot of money. And bro, I've thought that after, I thought in September when we had that lot of activity, I thought we weren't even going to get a powerful storm like a Cat 5. After Bell, I thought, right, that's it. I mean, this season could start getting active, but unfortunately it didn't. And now, I mean, bro, I know that improved me wrong. Milton proved me wrong. I honestly thought that this storm was going to become a Cat 3, Cat 4 max. I did not expect this. No one expected this to be to really explode and become a Cat 180 mile an hour Cat 5. No one expected this whatsoever. It only lasted for five days as well. Five days it lasted. So, and it, impact, it affected the areas of Mexico, Gulf Coast, uh, Mexico, and northern Yucatan Peninsula, Great Antilles, Western Cuba, South. Eastern United States, especially Florida, Georgia, La Pica, Chico, and the Bahamas. And basically, um, it says um, uh, Mexico. On October 6, 2024, the Mexican government issued the Tropical Storm Watch for northern coast of the Yucatan from Calestu to Cancun. The watch was upgraded to a tropical storm warning and hurricane watches later the day, then hurricane wa warnings the following day, some two from twenty two two thousand seven hundred and eleven people voluntarily evacuated from Asla Holox, Quinsa Quinsta Ru, Governor Mera, Len Lensma reported the Federal Electricity Commu Commission mobilized hundreds of workers and pieces of equipment to be to be placed in Campeche, Campeche Yucatan and and Quantuaru in portions from in preparations for Milton. The Secretary of Navy announced that the Mexican Navy would be distributed around affected regions for for um disparate for disparate uh, of resources services on the Trevor Met were suspended panic buying was observed in Madeira ahead of the storm non-essential government services including public transportation were suspended in parts of the Yucatan of Moulton rapidly intensified on October 7th. Governor John Diaz Miranda ordered the closure of all schools and ports in the Yucatan, the United States, Florida. Emergency. Uh, this was on. This was near Lakeland, Florida. I mean, people evacuated. I mean, people took this storm very seriously. People took this storm very, very seriously. And that's what you want to see. In he under Helene, no one really took the storm seriously because it was only 140 miles an hour. Yes, 140 miles an hour can still kill people, but but 
because the storm was 180 miles an hour, people actually thought, you know what, this storm is actually very powerful. It could hit at this intensity. But th thankfully, it weakened to a Cat 3. I know it did make them for as a major hurricane, but thankfully, it wasn't as strong as it was expected to be at landfall, which is good news. This is it. On October 5th, 2024, Florida Governor Ron, Ron DeSantos declared state of emergency. He also issued an executive order requiring requiring debris management sites and landfills in in countries affected by Hurricane Helene, in counties affected by Hurricane Helene, to remain open around the clock to help remove debris before Milton made landfall. The, the order the order also increased the number of Florida National Guardsmen working on debris removal from 800 to 4,000 to keep debris becoming a hazard from in Milton's high winds. Dump trucks were deploying to help remove mounds of debris. Sandbagging sites opened across the state. Two days later, hurricane and tropical storm warnings were declared for Florida West Coast. Near 15 million people across Florida were under flood watches and President Joe Biden approved an, an emergency declaration for the state. The Santos ordered the Florida uh, Department of Emergency Management to provide resources. He suspended tolls on many roads west in, in western Florida, including Florida's Turpin Public School. Over 50 counties as well as, went, as 23 public colleges and universities across the state cancelled. Classes were closed, including the University of South Florida in Tampa and the Florida Gulf Coast University in Fort Myers. Rollings College evac uh, evacuated campuses. Several counties opened schools up as emergency shelters. Amtrak suspended its silver service between Jacksonville and Miami from October 7th to October 11th and cancelled the auto train from October 8th to, to October 10th. Many airports throughout the state, particularly in central and southwestern Florida, temporarily closed airport Sarasota, Bartman International Airport, St. Peter, St. Peter Clearwater International Airport, Palm Beach International Airport and Orlando International Airport. Thousands of flights intended to cross or depart from Florida were cancelled. Several cruise lines had their schedule across a schedule affected due to the storm. The October 7th launch of Hira occurred as planned, but the launch of the Euro Europa Clipter spacecraft was delayed. An estimated 6 million Floridians were ordered to evacuate, making one of the largest evacuations orders since Hurricane Irma in 2017. The evacuation orders were primarily situated in Hillsborough and surrounding counties in Valarasia and Marion counties. Also issued evacuation orders for homes at risk throughout the Tampa Bay area, comfort stations and locations to basic utilities that were open due to Helene were closed due to Milton. In Longboat Key, officials stated that Residents should evacuate from the town in uh, coordination with the Florida Division of Emergency Management, Uber, offered free rides to and from state shelters. Zoos were also closed. I'll get to the most important bit, if I can find it. Uh... Uh -huh. The Bahamas. A tropical storm watch was issued for extreme northwestern Baha Bahamian islands on October 8th, 2024. Upgraded six hours later to a tropical storm warning. Grand Bahama activated their emergency operations center. The Royal Bahaman Defense Force went on standby with supplies prepared for Hurricane Milton. In person, schools in Grand Bahama, Bibico Ab Bibico. Abaco and Grand Cayman were closed. The, An the Anchoran Central 
Education Authority closed two campuses in the Bahamas. So basically everyone was on high alert for this storm, guys. And yeah, um, the impacts, Mexico, two deaths from Mexico. Um, so far, no damage, damages are unknown in Mexico, Cuba and the Bahamas. But one was injured in the Bahamas. 20 people died in Florida. That's 22 people. No, that's 19, 18 people died in Florida. Two people died in Mexico. 13 were injured in the US. One was injured in Bahamas. That includes 14 um, injuries. Um, over $110 billion from this storm, which is remarkable, by the way. Heavy rainfall from Milton caused flooding in the city of Campeche. Dangerous storm surge and torrential rainfall impacted the state of the Yucatan with several sea wars in at Progreso begin inundating by high waves. Over 12,000 people were affected in the state by power outages. Flooding from the storm surge led to evacuations being carried out during the hurricane in so the strong rains caused sections of the Cadu de Well Carmen Isla Alguada Federal Highways were also closed. This is what happened. In initial estimates by Fitch Rating said that Milton caused 30 to 50 billion dollars of damages. Other reports say it could be as much as 100 billion. There we go. I mean, take a, take a chance to read that if you want, guys. I'm not going to read all of this. But I can tell you now, I can tell you now, these were, are the costliest Atlantic Harkins in recorded history. Harvey, Harvey, and Katrina are tied up there. And honestly, I think this could be the third costliest hurricane. I, honestly, I don't even. I, I can see this game. I can easily see this pass, surpassing Ian, and I can easily see this p surpassing Katrina and Harvey to become the first um, tropical. To become the first hurricanes to do to to go over one hundred twenty-five billion dollars. If that happens, man, ten people were killed in Well Wellington. Two people were killed in Saint Petersburg. One Peter, one person was killed in Oman Beach due to a tree falling into a roof. Man, I mean, bro, this storm explosively intensified. It went f it, when I went to bed with this storm. I, I woke up Monday morning with this storm being nine ninety five millibars, a hundred, a fifty miles an hour. Came came back from college. And this storm was 160 miles an hour with 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 a pressure of 1,000 with, with a pressure of a 911 millibars. 911 millibars. Take get that sink, let that sink in. It dropped 70 millibars in 12 hours. 70 millibars in 12 hours. This storm literally just exploded over that very warm sea surface temperatures in the Gulf of Mexico really exploded and now recovery efforts are beginning in florida and now hopefully we let's just hope we do not have another major hurricane in the gulf because i mean the gulf of mexico so far has been the hot spot this year and i will show you it's been the hot spot this year because we've had two major hurricanes there the majority of our hurricanes were there anyway but so far the 2024 Atlantic hurricane season has had over a hundred and um a hundred and four billion and a hundred a hundred and forty nine billion dollars and three hundred and fifty six fatalities which is a lot by the way um but yeah um tropical depressions thirteen tropical summers thirty nine hurricanes four majors uh if you compare this to two thousand five by the way if you compare this to 2005, okay, um, if I search up 2005 Atlantic hurricane season, okay, uh, if I click on that, you see Rita, the most intense was Wilma, but uh, you could see 
If I move, if I go on to Rita, it says here there were four Cat Fives during the season: Emily, Katrina, Rita, and Wilma. Rita was the strongest storm in the Gulf, with a pressure of eight, with a pressure of nine eighty, with a pressure of nine ninety two millibar, millibars. Milton was one hundred eighty five miles an hour. But, so, Rita is the strongest storm in the Gulf, but the and in the most intense storm in the Gulf, but Milton is one of the most intense storms in the Gulf. If you compare Milton to all the powerful Cat 5s that happened, Alan, C Camille, Gilbert, Ivan, um, what else? Irma, Dorian, you know, all of those that I just mentioned, those five hurricanes I just mentioned, they were all powerful Cat 5s, at least... 180 to 185 miles an hour. And now, this was unprecedented for sure, 100%. So, yeah, a full recap on the 2024 Atlantic Hurricane season will be out in November. So stay tuned for that. Uh, hope you guys enjoy this little recap on Hurricane Milton. Um, if you want me to do more videos like this, just let me know down in the comments. And I shall see you guys all in the next video. Peace. And stay safe from Milton. Thank you.